Hey everybody, Denise Johnson coming to you from my Outer Space studio. Uh, today I'm going to play with uh, Molten Magic on photo paper. The back side of photo paper. This is 8.5 by 11. These are 4 by 6s. Okay, let's get started. These are two that I did the other day. I really like how they came out. Um, then I used the silver gilding wax. And just, these were pieces that I caught ink from other pieces that I was working on. Like I say, I don't waste ink, so whatever runs off goes on to another piece of paper. And I don't waste ink, because you never know what you're going to get. So these are cool. I like these. So I'm going to explore that more today on a bigger piece of paper. Yay, bigger, bigger piece of paper. All right, I have my glue gun. I have my glue sticks. This is a mini. I also have a larger glue gun, which is, takes the, uh, the standard size uh, sticks. I like those. I order these 170 at a time. They're 10 inches long, so I don't have to reload as often. I like them. But that's all in my supply list. That's uh, in that membership. Okay, here we go. And what I have in mind to do, roughly, no big detail on what I think I'm going to do, but the concept is going to be using uh, the love neural art principles, which are the rounding and the curving. And so what I want to do with this one is get it to go off the page. I like the lines to go off the page. Those three second draw, only it's a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna do another one, let this one cool off. I am still having so much fun with this technique. <laughs> it, it just keeps on going. Christmas ornaments and the journal covers, and now I'm bringing bringing more into my art. I think I like it so much because it's so unpredictable. Kind of like alcohol inks, you can control them to a degree, but never a hundred percent. I don't feel okay. Well, that's a little less neuro art and just doodling. <laughs> Doodle, doodles fun like a five-year-old. Okay, let's take this one up and see if this one's cooled off yet. It might, no, it's not yet. It's pretty thick on there, so I'm just going to set both of these aside. See how quickly it goes. So, I mean, these, these are just fast, and that's what I like, too. I like things that I can get done quickly. Sometimes, not always. Sometimes I take my time, but I don't like to try to judge too much while I'm doing something like this. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, let's see what happens, you know. I don't have a destination in mind. I am just enjoying this journey. All right, here's a four by six. Let's see. Let's try to focus again on the neuro art. Love neuro art. Lines of vibrational energy. What a gift that was, that label. Lines of vibrational energy. I mean, what describes it better than that? Art is lines of vibrational energy one way or another. Everything's energy, but... Okay, there we go. I mean, your true essence is energetic. Everything's energy. Oh, I got hot glue there. Oh, well, I'll just pull it off. Oh, that's hot, too. Your tendency will be to wipe that glue off if you accidentally get it on you, but don't do that because all you do is spread the burn. <laughs> My brother pointed that out to me. Just don't do that. When I first started working with this molten magic, and sure enough, next day I did it, and what did I do? I wiped it. <laughs> I 
last thought of him. You know, but I haven't done it since. I really like the composition of this one. And you got all those hangy, stringy things, but that's okay. That will take care of that later. I think that first one should be cooled off by now. And I may or may not get through all of these in this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It is what it is. Like I said, no destination in mind here. Let's clean this up a little bit. Easy cleanup. So fun. All right, what did I do? Oh, it's over here. So this was the first one. Now I could add inks now, or I could add the gilding wax now, or I could do a little of that here and a little of that there. So many possibilities. There are no rules. No rules. That's my number one rule is no rules. Okay, I'm going to try this as alcohol diluted in a squirt bottle with 91% alcohol. Don't use anything less because it won't work. There's too much water in it. This is Baja Blue from Pinata. And I never know what this is going to turn out to be. And that's the way I like it. Surprise me. Surprise, they're fun. Oh, look at that. That's darker. That was uh, purple. What color purple? I don't know. It's a mixture of many things. It's like a magic potion. Except I don't know the, the, the measurements. That was yellow. This is red. Just start squirting colors. See what happens. You'll never be able to duplicate what I'm doing, and I'll never be able to duplicate what you're doing. So, yay. Look at all those different patterns. I'm going to set that aside to dry. That's the next one. Here's the next one. This one, I think I'll put the wax down first. This is a Pabibo brand gilding wax, and this is King's Gold. This is just a flat brush I've had laying around and that's what I'm using. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I'm going to use the lid of this to kind of spread it out on the brush. And the brush is never dry out from this waxy stuff, which I like because I'm terrible at cleaning my brushes. And I'm not concerned that it's getting on the photo paper because that's what it does. And if it does and I don't want it there, I can get it off, remove it with 91% alcohol. I mean, how convenient is that? Got tons of that. 91% alcohol, such a useful product. Alcohol inks, they use it when they give you shots. Kills germs. That's why I don't get sick, I think. I use, <laughs> I'm immersed in alcohol. Look at those lines. They just look like threads going through there. Very cool. You'll get those if you hold the glue gun up higher. You get the real thin threads coming through. And then I want to take some spots and fill it in with the gold. I did that technique the other day kind of by accident, and I really like how this one turned out. It's just got a little bit of the glue on it and a blob of glue, and I used silver, 
And then I used the silver and I put it on kind of heavy and then wiped it off. And I really like the effect I got out of that. So I'm going to do some more of that. Filling in spots with the gold rather than just staying on the lines. Kind of a natural progression, right? Oh, I should do this and I could do that and fill some of the spaces in. So that's how, you know, your art evolves. You just try new things. You learn them, you put them in your toolbox, and move on. We're here to experience life in all its glory. And if we keep doing the same things over and over again, that's not experiencing life. It's not having an experience. That's, what is that? I don't know. That's boring. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to squirt it. Cover up the ink or the wax. Get that out of the way. Let the alcohol inks do some magic. Start with red. You don't have to put all your colors on at once. I mean, there's so many combinations of how you can do this. When people, you know, look at one of my paintings, they go, how'd you do that? Oh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I squirted. I know that. I put glue on it. I know that. And other than that, it's, oh, look how that's coming out. How crazy is that? Oh, that's good. I like that. green. Oh, <laughs> it's squirted by hand. Oh, uh, well, won't be the first time. set this aside to dry. What else I got going on here? One more little one over here. Oh, two of them. Okay. Let's do some silver this time. I want to get another piece of... I want to clean my brush off because I don't... I don't mind if I mix the yellow or the silver with the gold. It doesn't really bother me, but this brush is kind of getting crudded up too much it needs to like get all all the stuff off it let's take a piece of paper towel murphy's soap um yeah murphy's oil soap works real good too to clean these off but just paper towel there's a lot of wax on this <clears throat> brush there good as new look at that see how fuzzy it does get a little fuzzy but that's okay Onto the silver. Oop, the silver is a little gloopier than the gold. This one's got a little bit thicker lines, so maybe I'll do it. Still, I was going to say I wasn't, I was going to try to stay on the line, but see, this brush is getting bushy, kind of losing control of where the bristles are headed. Time for a new brush, I think, or a different one, and use this for a different purpose. I could do it like this, too. Yeah, let's do that. And wipe it off a bit. Gently just a soft look doing it this way. And be mindful that, you know, you've got the glue there, so you don't want to push too hard, because that could come loose. But if it does come loose, just give it a hit of a, the heat gun, and that should lay it back down. 
Let's see, I think I'll do it over here. This is Pinata Baja Blue right out of the bottle. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's so, such a pretty color. One more. Give it a drop of alcohol. Get it rocking and rolling. It just follows so nice the lines of the glue. So in this respect, you've got control of where it goes, and it uh, looks a lot like stained glass. Now, this is an aqua pen. It's called an aqua pen. I call it an alcohol pen, and I fill it up with alcohol. Again, 91%, nothing less. More is okay. But these are real inexpensive. And that's my paintbrush, usually. I'll clean it off here. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of ink on it. I don't know what color it is. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to put it over here to clean it off. Cleaning off my brush. That's all I'm doing. That's all you have to say to yourself. I'm just cleaning off my brush. I'm not making a masterpiece. I'm just saving the ink. Let's see what happens. Okay, this one. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. It looks like a lake in the middle. Got some movement there. And I'm going to do this. Take some of that ink off the nozzle there. Because that is powerful stuff right there. That's very concentrated ink up at the top. I, I can see myself getting carried away and going over all the lines <laughs> with the blue. That'd be okay if I don't, uh, you know, I can come back with the silver or the gold or whatever else I want to throw in here. I kind of like that. Let's fill in with another color up here. Let's do a chili pepper. This is pinata chili pepper. Very red. I think I'm going to hit that with a little bit of passion purple. This is a pinata. Mix them up, see what we get. And I'm going to use a squirter. And as always, uh, be mindful of your lungs. If uh, uh, make sure that you work in a, a well ventilated area, open your windows, doors. Turn on a fan, wear a respirator if you feel you need it. That's pretty. Stop! Go down! I just love how it follows it. And of course, the more that you go... Oh, I jumped the border. That's okay. They all, they all are. That's all right. Let's see what we get. Oh, I like it. Let's go this way then. I want to play it that way. So oh, we got drippies. So I'm going to drip on where I caught this here. See what we get. Don't waste the ink. Silver, I like the silver. Okay, I want that dry. Oh, coming back to this one. Oh, that is pretty. 
super duper pretty. <laughs> I like that. Do I go with silver or do I go with gold on this? I have to say gold. So I'm going to set aside my paint catcher. Ink catcher, I should say. And you can also put this on with your finger, which is what I'd like to do here because. And this one, I think I would like to stay more on the lines of glue. And that brush just is too bushy. I need a different one. I have more, but I don't feel like digging through them. Of course, I have more. We all have more paintbrushes, don't we? What is it about paintbrushes? I love buying paintbrushes. I got a little bit on here. I'll just rub that right in. Like that. But am I picking this up all the way down here? Oh, I am good. I never know if <laughs> how these videos are going to turn out. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you feel that? Just bumpy, bumpy little bumpies. So cool. The textures you get with this. You can zoom in on these. This is pretty awesome. Just putting a very little bit on the end of my finger. This does give you more control. Oh, that's okay. pretty. There you go. Like the colors. That would make a beautiful um, pillow cover or shower curtain. This would actually go very well in my bathroom. Hmm. Interesting. And what else am I working on over here? Okay, this one's dry. I like it. I'm just going to leave it exactly the way it is. Oh, one more thing I'd like to do with this squirt bottle with just alcohol in it. I'm going to come from way up high on this one. See that blooming? Got glue on the back of it. It doesn't, this glue does not come off real easy on the other side of photo paper. Photo paper, the side that you print on gets stuck on silicone mats too. I found that out. Okay, I got most of it off. That looks good. I like that. Okay, what's this one? One more. That one right off the page. That's okay. I'm just going to leave it that way. Otherwise, I can just snip it. But maybe I'll mount this on a, a canvas or something. Like this one I could mount on a canvas. Oh, let's see. Here. I have a square one. What could I do with a square one? Hmm, something. I think I could do something. Okay. Big one. Eight, eight and a half by 11 could go on here. I could uh, mount it on there. Use gel medium. Do some kind of border. I could go back in with glue actually and go right over the top of it and just incorporate the whole thing into the frame and all. That will be fun. I may do that. Now, this one, what am I going to do with you? Squirt, squirt.
So that was the Ranger Fiesta, a yellow from whatever, my own mix. And um, what else did I throw in there? A purple of some kind. That's nice. This is the Pinata Brass. Is a really nice metallic. It always has to be shaken. Shaken, not poured. Let's fill in some of these holes here. Some of these pretty shapes. It's lots of ink, so this is going to run real nice right with those lines. Yeah, a lot of nice a lot of ink that's not dry yet. So just, I have found that if you mix this too much, the pinata brass, if you keep mixing it up and moving it around, it has a tendency to look like dirt. Just a real dirty-ish color. Kind of like that. <laughs> but who knows what that'll dry like. We'll see. So that's going to be a while, though. That's going to take a while to dry, so I'm just going to set that aside. And... Yeah, what I'll do though, I'll probably go, well, I know I will, I'll go back and put the gilding wax on the lines, but this is going to be a while before it dries. So we'll just set that aside, see what happens to it later. Okay, I guess that's it for today. Oh, look at this. This is my catching one. How cool is that? Ink catcher. What could that be? That looks like a face with a nose and a mouth. So many strange shapes. Get a little squirt. That was Fiesta. Diluted. Looks like a person there. Many people come through to me in these paintings. This feels like one of those paintings that I could play with for a really long time. <laughs> and I could do it without adding any more ink to it, just moving it around with this, you know, the alcohol brush. People. People, people. Just feels like if you just put a circle in there, you <clears throat> somebody appears. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry, and this other one is not dry yet, so I think this is where I end this video. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is Denise Johnson coming from my outer space studio. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Have a beautiful day.